Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be opening up some packs for patrons along with our beloved Patreon build a pack box that just had some rather good cards put in it yesterday to go along with some of the good stuff that is yet to be pulled out of this. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, start in on this. We got our Patreon build a pack box here. A uh, quick overview of what we're going to do. Uh, first of all, you can check out our Patreon page down in the description below this video. There is a link. Uh, so essentially, uh, the uh, $10 patron, the one that is seeming to be most popular right now, uh, for 10 bucks you get two packs of standard. Those get opened up for you, and then you get stuff out of here that you are about to see. This particular uh, Patreon pack, build a pack, is going to be going to Matthew Harrington. Thank you very much, sir, for being a patron. And like I said, we do have the two packs of standard here. We're going to go ahead and put those aside. Um, and then, so this is everything Matt is going to get. We're going to randomly pick everything out of this. This is the card that we're going to sign. We are going to sign a Beacon Hawk. Put that off to the side. And then he gets not one. Uh, we'll go towards the back, but two rares. He then gets an uncommon or common worth at least a dollar or more he then gets a random foil type we'll go towards the front for this one uh, and then if you all notice i did switch out the sleeves someone pointed out to me these are all foil basic lands essentially everyone on the four dollar up tier uh, they also get a foil basic from this and i added in some uh, kind of sexy older lands but uh, the color the sleeves are different colors you could tell which ones were the old lands which ones weren't so i switched them all out they are all now the same color they have been thoroughly shuffled we'll go dead nuts middle for that one and then we go back here and we pick out 10 random cards. One, two, now these are just commons, uncommons, um, some uh, bulk rares in here. We got three, four, oh, five, pick that last one, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And there's also bonus cards in here, like you can get an extra foil, extra uh, rare, you can get an extra pack of standard, uh, lots of fun stuff. And for every new patron we have, we put more of those back into the box. So let's go ahead and see what Mr. Harrington got here. Uh, card number one, he got a benef Benefaction of Ronus. Uh, Plague Merm, that's not a bad card, I like that. Uh, Blight Mamba, another one, got some infect going on here. Uh, Volition Reigns, that was a fun, fun card. Uh, control Target Permanent, that's pretty awesome. All right, we got a Two-Headed Zombie. We got a Maze Rusher. Uh, we got an Emmer Wolf. Uh, that guy is, it's not a bad card. It's not bad. Um, what else we got here? We got a Azuri's Archers. Man, we're hitting the Scars block hard. And we got, oh, we got a foil two-headed zombie. Didn't you already get a two-headed zombie? You know what, tell you what, we don't do duplicates. So we're going to go ahead and take this two-headed zombie out. You get the foil one. We're going to grab one more card uh, to replace X. We don't want you getting doubles. So here's the next card. You got a lay bear of the heart. And then the replacement for your two-headed giant is a pillar field ox. I don't know if that's better. <laughs> Anywho, all right, well, those are your cards, your uh, common slash uncommons out of that. All right, for your foil basic, you got a, oh, the first one to get one of the older, older sets. Look at that. B-E-A, beautiful. All right, well, congratulations, Matt. You got that going for you right there. And then our foil is, uh, oh, you got a street savvy. I love that card. If nothing else... Um, yeah, this, this card just, this is good. I like it. All right. And then we got a Brindle Shout. Um, I'm not entirely sure where the value is on this. If it is not at least a dollar, we'll go ahead and replace it for you. Now for the part that everyone's been waiting for. 
Is it? Oh, it's not. We got Vizier of Many Faces. That's still not a bad card. I ran a couple different decks with him in it. All right, and then this one is... Oh, we got an Isolated Chapel. That's not, uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right. We'll go ahead and put this stuff aside for you, sir. Now we've got two packs of standard. We'll go ahead and see what stuff we can get out of this. Uh, he's going to get the rares and foils and essentially anything good uh, out of these packs. We'll go right past this stuff because there's really nothing good in the uncommons. Uh, we got a Recollect, Exclusion Mage, uh, Higher Mantis Cage, and oh, uh, Transmogrifying Wand. I saw the artifact, got kind of excited for a second. Oh well. Alright, another pack here. What do we got? Uh, same thing, nothing really good in the uncommons. So we got a Nightmare's Thirst, we got a Tectonic Rift, uh, Heroic Reinforcements, and... Oh, oh. Goreclaw, Terror of Qual Sima. This is actually not a bad card. Um, I've seen a couple interesting decks built with this guy, and... Yeah, you can do some ridiculous stuff with him. You really can. So, all right, well, that was for Matthew Harrington. Thank you very much, sir. It is greatly appreciated uh, to have you as a patron here at Triple A MTG. Um, and then also, um, no, I'm not counting my birds before they're hatched, uh, as it is, but um, we do have some more people who are signing up for Patreon right now, uh, or signing up for Patreon as patrons as we speak. Um, it has been processed because I only process one time a month, uh, but as long as everything goes through and nobody cancels, uh, this time next month, well actually at the beginning of next month, we will have hit the 10 patron mark, uh, which means we're going to do some exclusive patron-only giveaways. Um, now, we've got two more packs here. What are we doing with two more packs? What we've got two more patrons to go through today. Uh, the next one is going to be Kevin Wheeler. Uh, he is in our uh, booster pack crew. Uh, and for four bucks, essentially the price of the booster pack, you get the booster pack and then you get a foil basic. I'll pull this thing out of here. Let's see what foil basic he got. He got a... Uh, oh, M19 Island. That's kind of sexy. We'll go ahead and see what is in Kevin's pack. And uh, Kevin's been a patron for a while. He's actually he's a really good guy. Uh, in fact, I believe as I'm filming this, I believe he is currently up in Canada doing some fishing that I'm slightly envious of. All right, we got an Aether Tunneler. We got a Siegebreaker Giant. Oh, I just went too far. Sorry. Poison Tip Archer, really good and limited. And a Mentor uh, of the Meek. And you did get a Foil Cancel. So there is that. All right. Well, those are for you, Kevin. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. Like I said, Kevin Wheeler's been on for just a little bit. So uh, he, he's, he's been on here for a while. And then next we have uh, the next Kevin, uh, Kevin Chan. I'm sorry, I drew a blank of everything. Too many Kevin. Uh, also known as Path to TCGs. Um, you can go ahead and check out his YouTube channel. He does pack openings. Uh, a lot of good stuff. I really enjoy him. I've actually known Kevin for quite some time. And he's actually our oldest running patron. So uh, before I forget, let's go ahead and grab him a foil basic. And... Oh, he got the uh, full art. Foil full art swamp. Alrighty. Winner, winner, chicken dinner on that. And let's see what we have in store in the pack. Uh, once again, skip past all this right here. Okay. We've got Arcane Encyclopedia, Vine Mare, that's actually not bad at all. Uh, Horizon Scholar, and, uh, Infernal Reckoning. You know, I, I keep, I, I want this to be good against mainly Tron. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to find its space, but I, I think it should. I, I think it should. I like it. I really do. All right, so those are Kevin's. Uh, Kevin Chan, also known as Pass, Path to TCGs. And then uh, I am kind of... Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like I didn't get set up correctly, so let me take a quick break, and we'll get right back to you. Hi. You hungry? 
Looking for a tempting tree? Hold on till I absorb some heat. Some added tang might please you too. I'll slide into an oven fresh bun. And I'm ready for your eating fun. Why don't you try a juicy good hot dog? Mmm, delicious. And there we go. Sorry about that, folks. Um, I didn't have uh, my stuff set up uh, for our random pack giveaway uh, that we do every week. I completely spaced on doing it, and I'm not forgetting again. I learned my lesson last time. Uh, so, anywho, we have got here, uh, let me start this camera going again. We have got our wheel disc sign over here, and anyone who commented on any video from last week, you have been put in here. Uh, if you notice, this list is getting a little bit longer each time. We're going to go ahead and go over to random.org. We're going to roll a couple dice. Whatever it comes up, that's how many times we're going to click it. Nine is the lucky number. We're going to go over to this, and we're going to click it nine times. Whoever comes up, you're going to win a pack of Magic the Gathering cards. <laughs> so, uh, good luck to everybody that's involved. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And the winner of this one is going to be Exotic MTG. Congratulations, sir. Uh, I've actually known him for uh, a hair as well. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, first of all, we'll go ahead and cut that right there. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, whatever good stuff is in this is going to be shipped to Mr. Marcus Mills over at Exotic MTG. Kind of hoping to something good. All right. And we've got a whole bunch of stuff we don't want to see. Go away, Cummins. Uh, we have Double Cast. That sounds fun. Declared Dominance. That's actually not bad either. Reassembling Skeleton. And our rare is... Hey, it's a Demanding Dragon. This guy is... This guy. I've had more losses to this guy than probably anything else. He is just so ridiculously good. And then people that draw two of them. In limited, interesting. All right. Anyways, Marcus, get a hold of me uh, so you can claim your prize. Speaking of which, I still got these sitting on my desk. MTG Biker Boy, Eric Williamson, and Cyberpunk three sixteen. Uh, Y'all haven't gotten a hold of me. If you have, I'm sorry. I must have missed something, but uh, I don't have address to send these things to. Um, so please get a hold of me so you can actually get these. Those are from uh, last week. And then, uh, I almost forgot about this as well. We're going to do this a little bit right here. Um, we've got our pack to power a cure. Uh, if you want to know more about it, down in uh, uh, the description of this video, we'll have a link. Um, we uh, Essentially, we're doing pack to power, and then after a year, we're going to sell the cards off or auction them, to, depending on what we actually get. Uh, and then all the proceeds are going to go to charity. And we've had a good deal of people uh, interested in trading with us. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and we'll cover that up. And if I just... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to blur this whole thing out. My goodness. I am so sorry. Uh, Jeremy Warden. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I swear I've done this before. So, anyways, um, Jeremy Warden, he went ahead and he sent us stuff. He didn't even really say what he wanted. He's like, send me back something cool. Uh, or maybe he did pick something. I'm just forgetting. I don't know. But, anyways, this is the box he sent me. I have no idea what's in it. The post office did their absolute best to destroy this box on its way to me. Um, but I digress. Let's go ahead and see what uh, Mr. Warden sent. This is for our pack to power. Um, I have no idea what's in here. I'm sure it's going to be fun and a bum, though, so I'm going to thank you in advance, sir. Good, de good work on the bubble wrap, because obviously, like I said, they tried their damnedest to destroy this thing. Um, all right, what do we got in here? <laughs> Oh, uh, you are the man. Love what you do for the troops now. Charity. Uh, P.S. The best thing about trading cards is getting rid of cards you don't want. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, yeah, good stuff. All right. All right, let's see what we got in here. There's an opening somewhere. There it is. Okay. 
All right, let's see what Mr. Warden sent us. And oh, he's got the little oh, what do you call it? the the labels that come in the the holiday packs, <laughs> keeping it together. Well, I see bristling hydra. Ooh, I see another bristling hydra. Oh, I'm just throwing stuff everywhere. If I happen to spoil that, spoil that, I apologize. I didn't mean to. All right, let's see what we got here. We have got a bristling hydra. We've got a bristling hydra. <laughs> We've got a bristling hydra. <laughs> We've got another. Jeez, are these all bristling? <laughs> Holy cats! That's not a bristling hydra. That's a skate ship. All right, well, thank you very much for one, two, three, four, five, six bristling hydras. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a land tax. Yeah. Oh. Holy cats. To make up for the four hydras. Wow, man. I was not expecting that. Holy cats. That is a force of will. This is... Man, Jeremy, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, wow, thank you so much, man. This is... This is wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I greatly appreciate it, man. Uh, please, uh, go online to uh, our deck box and pick whatever you want out of it because i'm pretty sure this force is worth i think what the entire binder set i mean i haven't checked this price in a while assuming because i think last time i checked our binders somewhere around 70 80 so i i don't know where this is at exactly but wow and then these guys i mean scape shift land tax and then director that's that's some good stuff, man. That is some good stuff. Thank you so much. I don't even know what... <laughs> I just... I, I am... I am... All right, well, looks like we have a force of will uh, in our Pact of Power a Cure now. So uh, I'll go ahead and get this list updated. Jeremy, like I said, please let me know. Whatever you want out of that binder, it is yours. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, man. I just... It's, it's a force of will, man blindly sunny he, like I said, he didn't even ask for like hey i want this card in wow okay anyways uh this thing's already going long so um i'm just i'm just i'm blown back here all right like i said i will get the the uh deck box list updated uh to include all this wonderful stuff this is amazing thank you once again sir once again i'm okay i'm rambling now okay uh so anyways yeah thank you all for watching it's greatly appreciated if you like what you saw here today do us a huge favor click that like button hit subscribe be sure to hit that bell notification button and then share this with your friends your family your loved ones and your pets everyone could use a little more magic in their lives and one more time real quick before you take off don't forget we have our contest this ends uh the thursday before the pre-release of return to return to return to ravnica no, i'm kidding guilds of ravnica um if for your chance to enter into a free pre-release entry at bc comics and games essentially whatever pre-release event you want to play it'll be on the house just check out this video we'll put a link up that's how you enter uh once again thank you very much for watching and as always you can find us on facebook twitter and twitch chuckwagon mtg now if you could do us one last favor and check out this brief message about our sponsor Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.